In this screencast, you will learn how to import data into Google Maps Engine from a Google spreadsheet, um, potentially that you have collected information from um, using a Google form. So the first thing that um, I am going to do is show you that I have created this Google form called Favorite Vacation. And one of the questions asked a location-based question, so city, state, country, zip code, something like that. Um, and then there's a couple additional things that I would have asked for. So um, in this Google form, it's about what's your favorite vacation, a catchy name, what's an activity you could do there, and then how you, could, how you would categorize this vacation. Um, after I sent out this Google form to people, I now have a spreadsheet of all of the information that um, they have. When you're going to do Google Maps Engine, you can only do 100 rows at a time. So you'll want to go in and see um, it will only import 100 at a time. So um, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete um, the last two. You can um, actually go in and do multiple layers if you have more than 100. So the other thing that's really important is on my Google form, I had city, comma, state, comma, country. One of the things in your spreadsheet that you need to do is erase any punctuation, question marks, commas, from the titles of each of the columns. So you can see on this one I took the question marks out of B1, or I took the commas out, and on E1 I took the question mark out. So you can't have any punctuation or commas or anything in that first column. So then you're going to go to Maps Engine Lite, and I usually just Google, Google Maps Engine, and it pulls up this screen. And I'm going to go in and create a new map. And the first thing I can do is title my map. And then after that, below it, here is something called a layer. And I'm going to import some data. So when I click on import, I could either upload data or I have something in my drive. Okay. So if I click on my drive, you may actually have to connect my drive to Google Maps a couple times and then come back in and click on import again so it wants to know how to talk to your Google Drive so you may have to do a little importing so I'm gonna click on shared with me because that's where this one is and here's my information Google Maps favorite vacation and I will click select and right now it's requesting data from there it's asking Google Drive um, if it can use the information the next column says select the column from your file that tells us where to put the place marks on the map so this is the question that you use for your location base. So city, state, country. You can only choose one. The next one actually doesn't matter that much because the name isn't really put on the map um, dots, but I just you know, would choose another one. Catchy name for this vacation would be the title. And then I click Finish. And in just a few seconds, you'll see that Google Maps will import all of the stuff and put it onto my map. It did say that Two, error, or two rows couldn't be shown. There must have been some error in the data. So now if I click on any of these place marks, so if I zoom in a little bit on this one on Australia, I can click on it. It tells me the name, Sydney, Australia, the Blue Mountains. It's a beach vacation. Um, or you would go to the beach and it's a mountain vacation. So that's sort of interesting that somebody said that. Um, so any of these would sort of categorize that way. Since I asked a question like this, is it a city, beach, mountain, rural, what kind of vacation it is, I can actually change my little place marks to base on what they answered there. So that's in style over here on this side. So right now the style of the place marks is a uniform style. But I can change the color of the place marks based on how they categorize the vacation. So now all of these change to represent what they chose on their form or what they sort of said um, for what type of vacation is that. So that's the way you import data into Google Maps Engine. Um, if you're ready to share this map, there's a share button over on the side in which you can grab the URL or the address. You want, need to make sure that you change your settings just like in a Google Doc so that anybody in the world with the link can view your map save and then if you just copy the URL that's listed here and I'll go into just a new incognito window to see what it would look like to somebody else a parent just clicking on it they would click on it and see our Google map just like this even if they weren't logged in 
So that is how you import data from a spreadsheet, maybe used to collect information on a Google form, into Google Maps Engine.